Welcome to Technologies. Today we will install Hyper-V service in Windows Server 2022. Before we start, uh, I will show you the virtual machine setting where we installed Windows Server 2022. And now in this system, we will install Hyper-V service. Before installing the Hyper-V service, we will make some changes in uh, hardware configuration like the memory i will keep over here a 4 gb and uh, processor will be the same i will keep not changes anything over here the only one changes over here which is virtualization engine we will enable this option virtualization intel ptsept and uh, Hard disk drive is 60 GB sufficient for that, so I will not change anything over here. Hard disk uh, we will change over here. Just click on expand disk capacity over here. And uh, I will keep over here at least 80 GB. I click on expand. Now the hard disk, uh, hard disk size is 80 GB. Click OK. Now I will run this virtual machine. Let me take you to into the full screen mode. So right now system is booting. Now in server manager, first we have to go to the manage, click add and rules to feature, here you have to as usual click next, role based installation, you have to select click next, which system you have to install, select the system click next, here you can select hyper v, the moment you click on hyper v, it will add these features. Click on add feature. Now we have to wait till the next is highlighted. See, now click on next. 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 Here we will not select virtual switch or anything. We just leave, keep it blank. Right now. We are not selecting over network adapter over here. Just click next. Use credential security support providers. Click next. It will prompt to the path where it will save the hyper configuration. The virtual hard disk space. Here, one thing you should uh, aware about that at least, like if right now installing C drive, so at least uh, in C drive you have to keep 100 GB or 70 80 GB. Uh, you have to keep free space. And click next. Click install. Now that wait, the installation is completed. Now it's prompt for the restart. You must restart the system to finish the installation. Just close it. Just click over the notification. It will prompt for the restart. So we have to restart the system.
close this and we will restart the server once system restart again i will send control or delete I will log into the after system restart. I will log into the system now. server manager we will first checking notification and task is pending or not still my dashboard is, is still loading so we have to wait we have to wait till we can see hyperview over here your Hyper-V service is installed over here, sir. So we will go to the tools, go to the Hyper-V manager. In this Hyper-V manager, we will install our uh, operating system. So now this is our Hyper-V manager. In this Hyper-V manager, this is our system name, which is our server name. like win kl1 tjs this is our server name kl1 i will show you that name over here let's right click over here on my computers you can see over there your device name is kl1 and so same name over here so this is our device uh, system name physical system name you can say now we have to install one operating system like we will install windows 11 over here so you can see over here new you just click on new virtual machine so here you can click on next here you can give name of the virtual machine like uh, Windows 11 Hyper V. This is my Windows name. Click Next. Generation 1 we will select over here. So it will support 32, 64 bit, everything. Uh, you can give the memory. I will keep uh, one. GB memory over here. It will be a little slow, but I will keep one GB over here. Here we will select not connector because we didn't mention any network configuration while configuring Hyper V. So those things I will tell you while we establish connection between physical machine to the Hyper V and through Hyper V we can connect our virtual system which is this Windows 11. So that time we will configure the all networking part. So right now we will keep as it is and click on next here you can give the lo uh, location and everything here we can give this uh, size i think 60 gb is sufficient so 160 gb we can select and click next here you can select the iso image from your uh, installation like i will take one pen drive in that pendrive, I will copy ISO image, so I will map that pendrive over here. You can see over here, connect to the host or connect to the virtual machine. I will select connect to the virtual machine, and which machine machine should connect? Windows Server 2012. Windows Server 2022. Click OK. Click OK. okay.
So you can see over here USB drive. So now click on browse. Map that USB drive and select the ISO file. You can select over here. Now click on next. It will show you the summary. Click on finish. Now I will just right click over here and I will click on start. So this virtual machine is just started. Just double click over here. It is connected to Windows 11 Hyper V. And this thing will depend upon your memory speed and uh, how much memory and processor speed you have. So here we use only 1 GB. My setup is installing very slow as compared to normal installation. So setup is starting. I will skip little bit installation part. So it will save our time. Click next. Click install now. We don't have the product key, so I will select. I don't have the product key. Here we will select Windows 11 Pro Workstation. Click Next. Here I will select I Accept. Click Next. Here we will select Custom Advanced. We create and format a partition of the 60 GB. What is allocate space for this installation? Once the part is created, click next, and here is your installation is started.
now we will click accept over here So that's it from this video. So this is how you can install Windows 11 operating system in Hyper-V uh, service in server 2022. And please subscribe to my channel. And one more thing. So in next video, we will see how to configure networking part. Through networking part, what we will do. First, we will configure a physical system. After that, we will configure our virtual system, which is server operating system 2022. And after that, we will configure windows 11 operating system and all three should communicate so let's see in the next video in networking part thank you